for the folks at home, if you guys could sum up in one phrase, what is the most important thing to consider in auditions? What would you say? I would go, I think the most important. It's, it's tough to go the <clears throat> most important. Well, the soundbite culture, you know? I would go, uh, I'd say the, the most important thing is uh, outcome independent. As in you go in there mm. and you don't care. Not that you don't care, but you, yeah, you, I guess you don't care. Like you don't consider, how would you, how would you define Yeah, that? the results it, don't matter. The results don't matter. Like who's lying? You're respectful and you're there to play, but yeah, you're not dependent on what they think, yeah. their opinion. Yeah. Well, it's so kind of like that Brian Cranston thing where it's like your, your, your job is to basically just do the audition, like bring that character right. to life. And then That's if you booking. get on set, then you're lucky. But I mean, honestly, your job is to just create the, the character and just do the audition and bring what you can to the table. And then that's pretty much it. The rest is out of your hands. So what would you guys say? Can't well, take my answer. Well, speaking of outcome independent, if I could, I want to share a story that that happened with us for hotels.com. Um, we got to the call book. We booked They could it. still use that commercial, dude. They booked it. We filmed it. Not it anymore. It hasn't aired yet. <laughs> but it was, we were on a dinner date. We were like conjoined at the hip or whatever on a dinner date with a beautiful girl. And this is the callback. And Aaron. And we worked with a real girl. And the it, was the, it was the director of Zombieland who was like, nice. uh, name drop, uh, who was like was filming it. Fleischer? It. Yes, Ruben Fleischer. Good movie. Um, and we set up the scene. And then Aaron just starts directing the producers and directing the directors. Like, well, you guys have some food over there. Maybe, can we get some of those forks? And then, oh, how about the grapes or something? And then they all look to Ruben. And Ruben's <laughs> like, yeah, get, get them that. <laughs> and that wasn't really directing. It was more like, Demanding. I no no. I stood up. I stood up, and when you walk from the little area they set up for the set, and you walk across the room to where they're sitting, you really that's a pattern interruptive sort. Yeah, you you went on their side. So I go. So I'm just looking at, at uh, the stuff they have, and they have like a, the fruit and everything. I'm like, could I use these? It's some grapes. I think it was more like, uh, well, we can use these. It was more like it was more like, but just the, <laughs> the overall point was. Austin's right. I was very outcome independent, and it was like you were the leader more than the director, and they and they you were just they, making the scene better. They were drawn to it. It was different from what they were used. To. And you Good weren't energy. being disrespectful. You were just like adding to the per, play. Yeah, basically the play. You know, I checked in with them. You know, basically, I didn't yeah. take them away until they gave me the nod. I but, mean, that's that's a. I mean, that is really cool. And he took a. I think he took a pretty big gamble because you know, on average, like it's like. Do you take a risk? Do you not? Like it could have, he could have, uh, one one version of that story could have gone like the director was furious and flipped out and said, get the hell out of here, right? Or I think more, it's or like could he have been wasn't, silently. he wasn't like, he would have like taken it as disrespectful. It's more like, like get out. And more it, like, it's, oh, this guy's it's a constant yeah. calibra calibration. And in, in that particular one, things went great, but right. there are times you go a little bit too far. Not that anybody would get out, out outwardly mad but you just know that maybe i didn't calibrate quite so much right so did you think that maybe you had more room to play with it because it was a director of zombie land knowing the kind of we movie didn't, we it didn't was? know him at the time oh, we okay. didn't know that was that guy till the fitting okay um yeah so we didn't know those people at all because i feel like sometimes if you know the director and the type of stuff they do you're like oh they're probably willing to play around a little bit i wish we would have known that. yeah that, i mean that was he clearly does like to work with comedians. I, I just stuff. remember at the fitting, we were like, and what's the director's name again? And then I looked it up on my phone. I was like, oh, this guy's directed some stuff. <laughs> and, then, and the wardrobe person was like, yeah, yeah. So I would think the reason that our, when our version, because they there were different versions of the commercial. We were in one of the versions. There was all same set. This lady going on dates with different weirdos. Um, they didn't air the one that we did, I would think, because we'll get your take, because we played conjoined twins. And that was like the joke, making fun of like, you would never want to go out on a date with a conjoined twin. <laughs> so you think the conjoined twin community would have been offended? Nowadays? Let's take it back to- But it is a comedy spot, right? I mean, come on. I mean, a brand. Well, for I a do remember brand. one of those other spots was like, the, wasn't the dude like, the guy had no hair or something like that? Like he was on he had a, a wig. Dude, yeah, dude, that was the watched. one. That was the one we worked with. So I know. I, I remember those. Those obviously they ran that one so much. Yeah, they did. Oh, but I was like, couldn't people get? A, what about the bald community, man? They could be offended by that. You're right. I yeah. mean, come on. What about the pedophile community? They could whoa, be offended. Whoa, whoa, dude. Oh, 